Grey and poof, clear. Or something like that. Yeah, it's X split again. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to do a jlog and I need to show this bit of... When I'm pointing, you can't see, but I know you can see it in my screen. Um, oh, shit, I probably should have checked this, but yeah, it looks good, actually. Yeah, for, even though that looks stupid then and crazy, but I can understand that that's good. So, yeah, hi, guys, welcome to the jlog for the 15th of March, um, 2012. Right, first of all, um, I'm going to... I might do these jailogs a bit more often, even if I've no content to talk about. What I can do is talk about any games I'm playing. Because I figured, I saw a thinking, I was thinking... How many times do I want to say thinking? I was thinking that um, any games I play, I usually let's play. Which means my subscribers, usually, biggest majority of them, there will be a bit of interesting news somewhere in here for you guys so this could be long i'm not really sure um yeah look at this look, look, look. <laughs> see i've even got this stuff i want to talk about this is how i do it i literally just write shit like that and then yeah like, oh yeah i've got this to talk about this to talk about anyway let us get straight away with diablo 3 news patch 14 is out um Basically, the main thing in this was hardcore mode. Hardcore mode is now available and can be unlocked by reaching level 10 with at least one character. Um, that is going to be the same when the game is released. All you have to do is get level 10 with one character and you can play hardcore mode. Um, I've played hardcore mode now. There isn't much difference in the beta at the minute with it, but yes. Cast tower to, res to resurrect a fallen ally has been increased from one second to three seconds. Um... Again, it just means that dying's a bit more of a problem now. But, that's fine. Player created games now default. I cannot talk. Sorry guys, this is the shittest JLog ever. It will get better. Player created games now default to invite only. Check allow quick join in the social tab of the option menus to allow your friends to join. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's kind of nice. You don't you don't get random strangers joining your game, filling up before you can invite friends or whatever. But this is an interesting one. Magic Find and Gold Find are now shared amongst party members. The average combined value of the entire entire party's Magic and Gold Find applies to all players, regardless of location in the game world. The average values will not display in the user interface. Meaning that, say there's two people in the game, I've got 100, the other guy's got 0. He's going to get 50 magic and gold find from me, assuming both values were that, which... I don't know, it... It's going to... I don't know, you could sort of bring mules in, what are just stacked with golden magic find, and then have some kick-ass guy who can just kill through everything. And also, you're going to have people sort of bringing down the average value. You're not going to be able to tell. It's going to be really difficult, and... I don't know. It's a very, very ballsy, interesting thing, and I'm glad they've done it in beta, because they can get feedback on it. But we'll see how it goes. Skill user interface. In elective mode, skills can now be dragged and dropped from the skill interface into hotkey slots. Alright. Um, I don't know if to explain elective mode. I didn't show it off, but basically it just means I can put any skills at the bottom, what you saw in the demo. But right clicking a skill will... No, right clicking a skill hotkey will now open the skill interface. Eh, fair enough, you get to quickly change stuff out by doing that way. Auction house is now actually working. That's pretty cool. Um, some cool stuff in there. I'm glad to have that. So yeah, I've not played all the characters, so I can't really comment on the skill changes yet, but I will just scroll down and let you guys have a read of them. In fact, yeah, wait, I'll do smooth scrolling. <laughs> Crafting. Gold cost to craft items reduced. I don't get that. Crafted items are fucking broken in Diablo 3. But, however, cost to train blacksmith doubled. Mm. It kind of counterbalances it, I don't know. But more crafting materials, that definitely balances it. It needed nerfing, it was so ridiculous. You couldn't find anything as good as you could craft. And chance to salvage rare crafting material from blue items reduced to 10% from... No, reduced from 10% to 5%, that's good. 
Um, Templars attacks, yeah, deal 15% weapon damage. It's all right. It's hard to tell in the like first third of the first act. It's difficult to tell. Um, several aspects of the game called blah, 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 game's economy has been adjusted. Oh shit! There we go. It was like scrolling up and down while I was trying to read. But gold drops seem to have increased. Item sale values seem to have increased a bit as well. Vendor costs, I'm guessing, have gone down. And repair costs, I'm guessing, have gone up. But I know it's no longer um, available in the beta. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, a monster's had its loot increased. Monster damage has been increased, apparently by 200%. I've not really noticed that, but it didn't seem that difficult either. But um, so yeah, players can now leave the game if unexpectedly. So that's fine for hardcore. That's good. Um, public games can once again commit up to four players. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I like that actually. Being able to queue for a certain quest, you can just do boss runs now. But players now properly. Send and receive friend invites. That's quite a big bug, but it may just be a few of them. I never, I've never had any friends to add. Sad face. And play, a friend should no longer appear as squares in chat. So that being said, big news. Bum bum bum. Diablo three, fifteenth of May. Cannot fucking wait. As soon as I go back into work, my holidays are going in for the 15th of May. I'm going to have two week off with it. <laughs> going to be good. And yeah, I've pre-purchased it. Um, I have got it to download. Basically, you get to download the game after purchasing it. And it'll be ready to play when the game launches. But it's an encrypted version. So I can't play it until... See, there it is. When you purchase Diablo 3, you will, you will be able to download an encrypted version of the game that will be unlocked upon release on the 15th of May. Cannot wait for that also. Right, going to just quickly open something else up. Another game I did post a video of showing off. Farm Fortress. Wow. Sorry guys, this is why. By the way, yeah, uploading... In fact, wait, let me just get rid of that. Yeah, forget claim options and stuff but yeah 87 minutes and it's just 50 so that probably took like 170 odd minutes plus and that's like one gig that's only fucking 30 minute episode so yeah you guys sort of see how long that shit takes but that is why um that's taking so long but i just want to quickly show you something in farm fortress i couldn't leave my game open because mobs had spawn um uh, so apologies for this guys, I'm trying to get it to load, here we go. Play. But yeah, as you can see it's preloaded, so log in. Right. I mentioned about not griefing, but like I've discovered I'm probably gonna do a tutorial as well for this. See? Guide idea. But yeah, I'm probably gonna be doing a tutorial sort of thing. Um, I'm currently dead at the minute. Ooh, I was attacked by Gleeps. Eh, great. Whatever. I can't do anything. I'm dead, so... Does it say... Oh, there. Resurrected in five hours. So, yeah. These plants here, guys. You are welcome to come and harvest them. If an if an ally harvests your farm, um, it goes towards your funds. So, if you guys want to help me out, if you ever see my crops with stuff there, feel free to harvest them. Um, if not, somebody will just random will come in, steal them. I'm not too fussed either way. So yeah. But right, heading away from that for now, and just got one last quick thing to show you, and that is footage. Ta-da! This is like my video folder. You see, I've got like the last part of XCOM, Lost Parts of Saint Row, the last League of Legends game I did, just so I know um, what I'm up. But yeah. Anyway, basically what I'm trying to show off is that, which is oof, 1 hour 32 minutes of Minecraft footage. Uh, you've got one part uploaded now, which is the first 30 minutes, which is that. And after that, yeah, you can have a look at the thumbnails and speculate what you might be getting to see. That looks an interesting thumbnail, doesn't it? It's not actually, but anyway... 
Yep, that's pretty much it. Um, what have I been up to? Let me think. Not much. Playing football. Had a weird dream. Oh, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, I'll just put my chair that way, I guess. Got a new bed. Got like a shit ton of pillows, as you can possibly make out in the corner. Um, got two new footballs. I can't take my headset over there, so I'm going to take my headset off. And I'm going to carry them. Actually, why did I say I've got two new footballs? Because I haven't. I've got one. That's the new one. That's the old one that you saw in the video. But yeah, that one's quite a nice ball as well. Um, yeah, I'll just show you guys that. I've nailed one, obviously. It's just tattered as fuck. But it's a good ball. I've pumped it up so it bounces more. It's fucking rock hard, though. It's really, really hard. To kick, but oh well. Um, yeah, so that's been it. I wanted to do a J-Log today to talk about all this. I wouldn't have obviously remembered all the D3 patch notes, so this has not been too bad, but they're cutting down some tree um, where I play football, so I couldn't. It was too noisy, and there was a kid there. I feel a bit weird because I didn't want the kid's voice. I didn't want to like record whilst there was a child around, if that makes sense. I don't know, I just felt uneasy about doing it. just felt a bit wrong on some level. Right, anyway guys, thank you for watching, and I hopefully... Yeah, we've covered everything of us, so thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Now, stop.